Over the years, I have created teams based on many different things. From teams from my gyms to the best team for each game. But I've decided to change things up today and create teams based on some of my favorite video game characters. What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy, Chaos here. And today I wanted to take a look at my favorite Zelda game, Link's Awakening, and determine what Pokemon this specific Link would use on a Pokemon team. Part of building a team on a specific iteration of a video game character means I want to focus on the specific aspects of Link's Awakening, rather than Legend of Zelda as a whole. So items like the hookshots, bows, and the Master Sword will not be included in this video. So let's start with our team. Your first upgrade also makes for a good first item and a really good solid team member. For completing the first dungeon, you get Rock's Feather, which is essential since it gives you the ability to jump and allows for mobility. To represent the size, I have chosen Braviary. Its feathers represent the feather that you were given, and as a flying type, Braviary also resembles the jumping feature included with Rock's Feather. One of the big story points in Link's Awakening is Waking the Windfish. It is the final boss section of the game, and that's the whole point of the whole story. So, it is important that you do this. I have included Wailord to represent the Windfish, since the resemblance here is just uncanny, and they both are just giant whale poke. So, that's just matches. Up next comes another unique item to Link's Awakening, the Magic Rod. Magic is common across the Zelda universe, but the Magic Rod is specifically unique to Link's Awakening, and as an item that is required to beat a few of the bosses in the game. I have included Del Fox on this team to fill this role, since it wields a magic wand from its tree branch and makes the best candidate to be a correlation between these two games. You can choose a lot of other Pokemon, I just fit Delphox in here because it just works for me. Tunics are a big feature in the Legend of Zelda universe, but Link's Awakening offers you a choice that really impacts your gameplay. After defeating the Color Dungeon, you can choose either the red or blue tunic for your journey. The red tunic gives you double attack, while the blue tunic gives you double defense. However, you cannot swap between the two and you are stuck with whichever one you choose first. As a fun feature for Link's team in a Pokemon game, I have chosen to make a version exclusive team member to the team in either Bisharp to represent the red tunic or Shiny Bisharp to represent the blue tunic. This is a version exclusive member of Link's team, and the movesets for these Pokemon would offer two stab moves and then utility to matter which one you are using, which one you are fighting against. So if it's the red one, you're getting more offensive Bisharp, and if it's the blue one, you're getting a more defensive style. Link's Awakening offers some pickup items that can temporarily give you buffs. These are the Piece of Power and the Guardian Acorn. And while I don't really have a really good option for the Piece of Power, there is a solid option for the Guardian Acorn and CDOT. CDOT looks identical to the Guardian Acorn drop item, and while I know it doesn't make a ton of sense for a battle team in practice, it does work on a design level, and this whole video is based on what works from a design perspective and a theory perspective rather than an actual team battle. The last team member is one that makes the most sense for the team, since this character is a major part of the story even for the short time you are not on Coheland Island. And this is a massive NPC in the game, and that is Marin. Marin is a major plot driver of this game, as well as just an overpowered NPC. If you've ever played the mini games in the game, you know that. She does a lot for the island and offers you a way to progress several times on your journey. Marn has many options to Pokemon, and I've seen many suggestions, but none quite fit her personality and just her in theory, as Wingle does. Marn tells Link of a dream to fly away like a seagull on the beach scene, and it is theorized that Marin is actually the seagull in the real world, which kind of pulls a cool correlation between the real world having some elements into the island as you are playing through the game. I just thought it was a really cool theory. Wingle's one of my favorite Pokemon. And I think it just really makes sense for this team and for Marin to be represented as a seagull. Well, a seagull Pokemon, that is. Well, that's the team I would give Link from Link's Awakening if he decided to become a Pokemon trainer. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, especially if you enjoyed this video and you want to see others like it. Or if you want to suggest a character for me to make a team around. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and to ensure you don't miss any further Pokemon content from me. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Chaos signing off. Stay safe, and as always, burn it up.